These peasants were doing a good work at their new base, but Suo realized that there were not enough of them. He needed some people to work and he also needed a fighting force. Once again, he had multiple options. Going out there to slave camps and purchasing some slaves, hoping that they will be of some use. Or go further into the desert and see if they can kidnap some Dunguns or vagrants and hope to persuade them to join them like they did in the past. They were now capable of feeding more and more people. It was time to increase the size of the Kurushishi clan and show everyone that they mean business. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kenshi Sunrise Invasion. Welcome back, my friends. Tsuyo is just having a nice talk over here with Tempo, Kurtofu and Nagastra and uh, you know, they've been thinking, they've been talking. I need more people. Clearly more people is needed out here if they are to take care of everything there is to take care out here and also at the same time have a squad that would be capable to go out there and fight and you know take the battle to the united cities and so on there's some cloud ninjas walking nearby you know what these cloud ninjas their attack is in 20s they it got boosted up by a bit but their defense is really low we actually could go grab these dudes you know they seem to be humans mostly we could definitely grab these dudes and get some new recruits. We don't even need to go out there. Hey boys, everybody run down here. Let's go fight some ninjas. And ninjas, we shall fight. Come on in. Right now, just Zoya, Shay, and Luna. Don't worry about it. Cole is coming. All right, boys, come on over here. Let's get into the fight. It's about time. <laughs> Let's get him. Oh, Shay is down. That's fine. You got this. Shay has uh, has been tanking for long enough. This is acceptable. We need new people. We need to train new people. And these ninjas might be just what we need. I didn't even realize that these ninjas were that weak. That they were the... Well, they have the stats that we were looking for. But that's, that's good. <laughs> I, I was planning to go deeper into the desert, finding some vagrants. Maybe that's not gonna be needed now. We have our vagrants right here. Looks like we are actually improving relations with these guys now that we're healing them. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but uh, that's fine. There you go. We we killed healed that one. Not he not killed, healed. A good thing we have plenty of prisons. Didn't we not imprison somebody at some point? I remember. I remember imprisoning somebody. That person is not here. That's okay. Three former ninjas that swore their loyalty to Tsuyo. They will replace their former life with a life of relative leisure, safety and protection. But they will have to fight for him. No matter what, no matter whom, they will have to fight and protect Tsuyo with their lives. They swore their oaths now. Welcome to the squad, Leotana. Dalek Pharos and Musi. Welcome to the squad, boys. It is good to have you. We'll go through your stories soon enough. Let's put your hats back on, shall we? Nobody wants to see what exactly you've been doing. You guys are all beat up, so go go rest. Go into bed. Go into bed. How about you go to bed up here, which is kind of closer. Musi, go to bed. These guys almost lost their limbs. Yeah, that's what you get for fighting us. But, well, now you're here, so, uh... I guess you will maybe lose limbs fighting for us, which is much better! Welcome to the squad, boys! Dalek Pharos, <laughs> I've been following your story for a while, and oh boy, is it a crazy one. I like it. It's good to have you in here as well. Welcome, of course, as well to Leotana and Musi. Musi, who we previously, um... We had an animal named Musi in the past. So, uh, it's good to have you over here. Oh, looks like we forgot some cloud ninjas that now have gotten themselves enslaved. Have we? That's saying, where are you going? Finding corpses? That's really necessary. Yeah, it's, it's fine. You're, you're okay out here. And as I said, these guys are not that powerful. Over here, you can see their, their stats are in 20s. Uh, weapon stats even lower. Dexterity is a bit higher. Strength and toughness are 
below 20 as well. Same here for Leotana, 27 melee attack, 17 defense, and Dalek, roughly the same ish as well. Dexterity a bit higher, the rest not so. So, yeah, they're average, basically, just like our people, or below them. You know, Shay is pretty high in stats. Level up her sabers as well, 40 strength on Shay by now. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, you can see most of our people have oh, lots of 40s in there, 30s. Some 40s, some 20s, so basically an average member of the team. And that is just fine with me. Also, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but we built this extra storm house over here. There's nothing in there yet, but since we do have agave in this one, I wanted to build uh, a way for us to turn that agave into something. So, agave auto loom would be the one. We need eight iron plates for that. Or just fabric loop for agave. I think we're fine doing an auto loop. And if we can manage to do this, just uh, let's just put this bad boy over here. Then we can finally, at last, get ourselves some proper crafting going because this should give us the fabrics that we need. We're gonna need a couple more of these collectors because we're kind of running out of water now that we have the extra agave stuff. Do we have any more steel bars over here? We have one, two, and we need these. There you go. And there is one uh, copper alloy plate in there that I already seen. So uh, drop that on the ground and these guys should now be just fine. Now like Ferris, since you are the one that is already up and kind of healed out of these ninjas. Well, we're gonna get the first job and that job is gonna be whole stuff over here and then whole stuff over here maybe we'll get you on these first and then the other one you don't need to operate just just hole in there that thing's gonna operate on its own there you go let's see how much fabrics we get out of this it's gonna it's definitely gonna be for a bit i can see that that's okay we're gonna use a lot of agave on this but that's that's fine uh this bad boy has been built so we have four of these collecting water now and we are not very good in water. Not very good at all. We'll probably need to build more, but we do not have any more copper alloy plates. Which means we would have to go buy them. Because I do not think we can get any of them out here. But the Black Desert City might have some. Maybe even the mechanical hives. Tsuyo? I think it's uh I think it's time you go grab Steve. Actually, maybe just run there yourself, that's fine. Looks like the Howlers are having a bit of a fight out here with Blood Raiders, of all people. Alright, now you guys have this. And looks like they're also throwing out some dead wolves and such. Yeah, I bet that really isn't a problem for you dudes. You have survived slavers and everything. Hello friends, uh, do you have what I need? Where's your trader? There he is. How about some copper alloy plates? You got, you got any of that? I'll actually buy these. Thank you. Ooh, they have ancient science book. I will actually buy this because we need it. Yeah, they don't have, they don't have what we need. Ha, huh, that's a shame. I'll buy your hemp and we'll call it good, I guess. Go home to you. Dalek Ferris was an orphan in the old town known as the Hub. There was raised by his ruthless grandmother, Queenie Ferris who would mistreat him if he was misbehaving as usual. Except the punishment is what actually caused Dalek to become even more ill. Dalek, as a child, already had to focus on keeping himself sane. He would often awake in the middle of the night, sleepwalking in a case of insomnia. He would not bully, but rather rally children to do mischief, making terrible mistakes along the way, such as stealing bread from the old bakery. After he was punished, he left. Want to know why? Ask him, yourself. He will gladly tell you. As for Dalek, he's a young Greenlander who wanders near the hub but ventures further to the east from time to time in order to find food, which ends up being Bone Dog half the time. He doesn't have much potential fighting humans, but with wildlife, he gets the grasp of the situation. He calms himself with only the sand and the wind. As for alliances and beliefs, it's not hard to understand why free speech is very important to Dalek. It is good to have you in the squad, Dalek. 
Very good to have you. You're a very special boy, and I chose that segment as your like an introduction uh, instead of what you first wrote as your backstory. I think it it kind of fits. I think it kind of fits. Um, so welcome, buddy. Welcome. Also, you know, because you are not the sanest of people. <laughs> I uh, I made you crouch in the ground. Gave you some face pain just to, you know, make you a bit more, you know, make it, make him stand out a bit more. I think, uh, I think that's pretty cool. Also, apparently our power is not in a very good state right now. That's fine. That's fine. We're definitely going to need some more. We are gaining battery charge once again because we have just a bit more than enough of this, which is good. Now, you told me you're working on this alone. Who was supposed to be working on this as well? Oh, oh boy. Dark Reavers. Shay's got friends. Zoya's got friends. Alright, well. Moosey. You get this job now since uh, nobody else is doing this. And Leotana, you can get this job over here. You know, show yourself to be good peasants. Wow, Shay. You know what? Shay's doing pretty well. Learning the ways of this, uh, of this sword. She's got... Very, very solid defense right now already. You know, she's been in many fights. Get him, Steve. Steve, you got this, buddy. He does not got this. I think at this point, it's gonna be time we uh, promote somebody else. Not just Shay. Is anybody else gonna come help? Are you, like, actually fucking kidding me, you people? You're right there. Get out here and help. Steve is down. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, you're just, uh, just gonna look? Go in there. Smack him. I really expected people to come help, because we're, you know, right here. No, they're actually just healing. You two are actually just healing. How about you go and fight? Show yourself as fighters. Leotana and Moosey. You've just joined us. Show yourself as fighters, not only as healers and crafters. Show yourself as fighters. There you go. That's better. That guy, don't let him crawl away. Good. Very good. That's exactly what we wanted. These guys get what they were asking for. And look at Shay. Almost unheard. That head wound was there from before. From a very young age, Leo looked up to the samurai. He wanted to be a samurai. However, due to his very short stature, he was mocked upon trying to join them. So now he trains day and night, hoping to find a master. Leo's Journal, Log 1 Today was a relatively quiet day. Did my training with my trusty blade in the desert outside of Stoat. That's when I saw the most massive skimmer I've ever seen. I stood my ground to fight, but quickly the samurai rushed in and took from me what would have been the best practice of my skills. The guard captain laughed at me, but I took this in stride. One day, maybe, they will see my strength. I certainly hope so, buddy. I certainly hope they get to see your strength. Look at how strong you're gonna be become now that you get to mine iron over here for us. First and foremost, you have to remember, you guys are peasants. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. What, what are these cloud ninjas doing over here? Just chilling, huh? Well, Leo, show yourself what how what a strong man you are. There you go. Good showing. Now take this man's heal kit. He doesn't need it. Perfect. Oh great. This is this is gonna be awesome. I really don't understand you people. Why don't you come and help when we have these bastards out here? I don't know if you noticed. Oh, this guy kicked Steve in the head. Wow. Do you notice that there's like these monstrosities over here? Fucking fight them. Jesus. What are you people doing with your life? Come out here. They're fucking murdering everybody. Jesus. God, I hate these things. God, I hate these things. Come, you need to be right next to it. Right next to it. Stand right next to it. Oh, well, he told me it's down. 
Come on, come on. Right over here. Fucking hell, that thing. My god. It just keeps on sniping. You can't... There you go. Okay, stand next to it. Make it, make it go into melee. Fucking finally. That one isn't in melee. I think he's gonna take down the whole squad. Come on, come over here. Come over here. Fight it. Yeah, these things are, even as martial artists, they are so strong now. Because the fucking martial arts are so strong. Come on, people. We need you. Otherwise, people are gonna die. Fucking clickers. Ooh, this is the, the worst. <laughs> the worst is because we are so spread out, we can't even get to these bastards. Don't let them shoot you. Good. Reloading. Good. Do we have actually have anybody else alive? A couple of people. Are. Okay. Dalek? No, you're supposed to fight, not, not do anything. Okay, good. One is down. Take him down. Two. Good. Bring him down, boys. Three are down. Get the last bastard. Oh my god. And Folia's just chilling over there. Yeah, no, Folia, you just just stay there. Don't 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 worry about this. It's just uh, a bunch of people are fucking murdered over here. Yeah, don't worry about it. Agastra, where's your heal kit, dude? Uh Bianlian, do you have a heal kit? Give this to uh, give this to Nagastra. He kinda he kinda needs it more. Where the fuck are you? There you are. Alright, uh to you make sure they're dead they do not deserve anything else but death these bastards nothing else but death for them do we have where's the where's the fourth one who did i not loot that one is dead this one is dead this one is dead where's the fourth one this one yes good all right please kill i appreciate that there you go, stack these in here. Better. Now, heal and rescue. Now, you guys will have to probably rescue people, because they are almost bleeding out. My god. <laughs> these things have just obliterated us over here. Fucking clickers. Hate you. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. Attack him. Attack him. Attack him! Dude! Fuck off! Fuck off! This guy is mine. Get the fuck off, you slavers. Everybody back inside. None of this. Bring him in. You had to leave one guy behind. Like, one guy. You had to, didn't you? So you stop getting shot. What is this? Don't be such a noob. These guys wanna fight? We'll fight them. Please, let's get, get inside. We have a door now. Everybody stop running down here. Everybody asks you to come down here. Come on, go inside. You got this. Close the doors. Good. Fucking slavers. God damn fucking slavers. Now fight them. I right, put him down. Don't you dare enslave him. You don't stand next to him. Oh, we are committing crime? You were trying to enslave us, and we are the ones committing crime, huh? It's people. It's goddamn people. Brian? Brian. What's up with your arm, dude? Don't, don't do that. Get them. Destroy them. I don't even care that half of our people are right now in beds. Don't, don't even care. Get this guy in particular. Alarm raised? Fucking raise your alarm. Are you by any chance running around? What? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing down here? Excuse me. Why? This is this is why a man has to have multiple doors, not just one door. Because you guys are being useless at it. You're capturing a slave. Yeah, please, come on. Come, come capture a slave, you piece of shit. Come. Say, let's see you capture a slave. Hmm? Come. <laughs> what are you doing outside? Oh my god. Oh, game. Fucking morons. 
Are you kidding me? You're like absolutely shitting me right now. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Okay, he's fine. Kartoffel, get the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's a great idea. Run straight up into a bunch of slavers who will try to fucking capture you. That is amazing idea. You are extremely smart people. I am glad I have you as my fucking peasants. Oh my god, you fucking lunatics. I can't believe this bullshit. Like, I absolutely can't believe this shit. What is wrong with your stupidity? Fucking hell, man. Yeah, extremely smart. Come down here and fight all the fucking slavers. Oh yeah, that that's that's an amazing idea. Good job, Kartoffel. Good job, Dalek. Good job, Fat Sang. Yeah, there you go. Get yourself bopped. Perfect, perfect, amazing. Oh yeah, do more of that. Do more of that next time, please. Shay's down out here as well. For fuck's sake, these people. Holy shit. Why would you be so stupid? What the hell would you be so stupid? You better win against these fuckers now. You... Ah, my god, pick him up. I'll let him grab him. Go back there. You better deal with these over here. Leave those fuckers be there. All because Adonios wasn't picked up. Are you... Okay, you're medicking. It's better for you. Did you all go down? What a bunch of pussies. They all went fucking down. <sighs> okay, this, uh, this makes me upset. This makes me very, very upset. Go help fight. Come on. Go help fight. Put him down. Shoot this guy in the... Shoot him in the head. Don't you hate? Don't you fucking hate me? Don't you even dare go hey over here. You... Whoa, that guy just teleported. Hey, <laughs> now that's just cheating. That is not allowed. Stop shooting Tuyo, you bastards. Yeah, you must be goddamn mental. That's true. Come out here. Tuyo, please don't shoot our friends. It's really not what I want you to do. Get these bastards down. Take them down. Don't let them capture anybody else. Steve is still out there. Steve's gonna be in recovery coma for a while. Yeah, these guys attacked us as soon as we showed a bit of weakness. Are you are you all going down? No. Did we all go down? Oh my god. Can't even win against a bunch of fucking slavers. You're all gonna get yourself enslaved now. These guys are regular snipers. Like actual regular snipers. What are you doing exactly? You're medicking. Shoot him in the nuts. Shoot him in the nuts. Come on. That's not good enough. Not good enough. Shoot him in the nuts. Keep shooting him. Come on. Thank you. What do we have out here? It's another slave trader. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, there's so many of them. And these guys are full health. For fuck's sake. Oh my god. Why would you be doing this? It's protecting allies somewhere out there. Great. Great. Oh, Sand Ninjas. Sand Ninjas are actually on our side over there. I wonder how long. Probably not long. Stop it, dear. Get away from me. Carry your friend and leave me be. Come on, Sand Ninja. We got this. Sand Ninjas are on our side now. For how long, though? Good. The other Sand Ninjas coming. Take him down. Take him for a spin. Fucking alarm raised. I will raise the alarm. This is my goddamn town. You come over here trying to take my people. How about that for raising the fucking alarm? Bunch of dildos. That's what you are, slavers. A bunch of goddamn dildos. 
Now, I do know that as soon as we are done, the Sand Ninjas will most likely turn on us. I would prefer that not to be the case. Alright, uh, we're doing good over here. I think we're doing good, at which point... Alright, Shay is doing some healing. Shay, go, go heal people. You can go first aid. The Sand Ninjas got this. Tuyo, you go first aid people over here as well. Let's make sure that everybody's fine. Everybody's healed up for when we're gonna have to fight Sand Ninjas. You know? That's, that's exactly what we need. Go, Luna. First aid yourself. Zoya, go first aid new over there. Artemis, just leave this guy be. Go first aid Sky. Shay. First aid. How do you not have a med kit? Out of all things. Steal it from this guy. I'm sure he's got a med kit. And he's got money. There you go. There he goes. Fucking med kit. Rack him. I didn't I didn't tell you to go fight. I told you to go heal. Go. Go heal. I'm sure there's somebody to heal. First aid yourself. Tempo. First aid yourself. Come on. Go, go. First aid yourself before the Sand Ninjas attack you. That would be smart. Looting the dead? Just don't loot me and we're good. If you if you loot the uh, slavers, I'm fine. Don't mind that. Tuyo? Mediking? Good. Holy shit, we just got destroyed multiple times. <laughs> My god. How is it looking out here? The slavers are still outside. What are you fighting? And that big old sand ninjas with 103 attack. Now that guy's probably gonna clean them up. Hey tech hunters, you guys wanna help us out? No? I'm just surprised those sand ninjas haven't triggered us yet. But I'm also fine if they didn't. Whoa, what is this fight in here? Drifters are fighting rebel farmers. Okay, so we have another fight uh, ahead of us. Drifters are probably gonna lose this thing. The rebel farmers have uh, have uh, all kinds of nasty stuff. So yeah, hey, rescue people, please. I think everybody's gonna need some rescuing soon. You knew you too, buddy. Let's rescue people. This guy, what you doing? No, you're not foraging animals. Trust me, you're not. You're not going out there right now. Leave the animals be. Go and save people. Right now. Come on. It's a bloodbath over here. It is a bloodbath. Come on, everybody just come upstairs and... We're gonna close our doors. We also have these dudes out front. Are fighting the tech hunters now. Oh, Steve. Hey, Steve. How you doing, buddy? Gonna be a recovery coma for a while. That's... Because that's fine. People are being rescued. Sky, where are you going? Fucking foraging animals? I do not think so. Stay out here and sleep. Yeah, Shay. Stay out here and sleep, please. None of that. Do not go down there. Grandma's under attack by whom? Oh, here we go. The rebel farmers are coming, boys. That's why I said go sleep. Guess we're not fucking sleeping then. Guess we are not sleeping. Ah, oh, here goes Luna. Alright, hey, uh, guys, I will need you up here. Some help. These fuckers are going for us. Fight them. Good stuff, Zoya. Well, slave traders are also fighting the rebel farmers, so we got all of that going. Grandma? She get hits in the, she hit in the head. This could be real bad, but she's doing good right now. Actually, killing that, that thing. That guy can be nasty. Come on. Take him out, boys. Take him out. Ah, he, of course he hit her. Where's that fucker hit her? Jesus. Where's Tui? Tui, is this really the place to shoot from? Like, I, I think I doubt it. Gotta say I doubt it. Come down here. Help the life of Brian over here. Shoot this guy in the face. There you go. That's better. Perfect, perfect. Come out here and start shooting. Yeah, uh, we need more people out here to defend ourselves. That's for damn sure. 
We need more people. Because everybody is tougher than we are. Everybody is much tougher than we are. So if we are to survive, we need to deal with this. Shoot the dogs. Oh, nice snipe there. Very nice snipe. Definitely shoot the dogs first. Those are the most dangerous things. I'm guessing Life of Brian went down. It's fine. Who are... Oh, that's... Drifters and dogs. Drifters and dogs. Could you please calm the fuck down, sir? That bucket in your head, you look hilarious. So calm down. Hey, <laughs> you guys want to come and help? I'm just saying, you know? You have a bit of a, a bit of an issue over here. Don't know if you noticed. I know I told you to go to sleep, but you know, at this at this point, fighting might be smart. Fighting might be smart. To so your, I swear to God, pick your targets, man. Pick your targets. There's a guy chasing you, and you're shooting somebody else. How how's that a smart idea? Okay, that guy should go down to bleed damage. There he goes. Perfect. You can start shooting down here. If you see dogs. Shoot dogs first. Definitely shoot dogs first. Good snipe. I see somebody else shooting at Tsuya. Are we all down once again? I see Fatsang and Luna are up. Anybody decide to go down there? Help Steve? No. Alright, so we're good on that one. Uh, may I say that you guys are all a piece of shit out here? Who's waking up? Tell me it's drifters. Thank god it's drifters. <laughs> oh, that drifter got sniped for zero. Amazing. Take the guy with the bow down first. Before he annoys the shit out of me. Come on. How much more? Oof, a lot more. Okay, put these guys between you and him. Alright, he's got somebody else. Oh, even Idonios, who caused all these issues, is now up. Good, good work, buddy. Good, good work for going down and not being carried back home. Being such a bait for these dudes. But now we have issues. I don't know if you noticed, but we have issues. Look, that guy or lady is shooting you. Shoot it back to you. Good. You're a better shot. Gotta admit, those uh, slavers had some good, good shots amongst them, but luckily we avoided them. Very nice, very nice. Take these guys down. Just a couple remaining. The drifters are helping us. Now we have a martial artist amongst us. Don't want none of that. Take him down. Pass him around. Make sure they're... They're gone. And done. And dead. Yes, we need... Uh, we need a couple more walls, boys. <laughs> we need a couple more walls if we are to actually survive out here. Fat Sang going down. Come on, it's like the last dude still out here. Moosey's coming to fight. You got this, Moosey. I believe in you. You got this. Just smack him. Just that last guy. The last guy, finally. Holy shit. Alright, stop shooting. Stop, just stop. Like, Steve's gonna be back up before anybody else. Where you going? Mediking? Who are you mediking? Brian? Grandma? Gnu? Everybody? Jesus. That that was a, that was a murder and a half. Moosey was a battered man, once an apprentice swordsman to his father. Moosey's father was framed by the town leader and was killed and the town leader took his home. His mother had been long dead due to sickness. Moosey was exiled from the town. He was able to carry only what he could carry on his back. Moosey remembers the lives before him. As a great warrior bull, another life in a different time. Moosey's mindset, in this life of his, he was loyal to those who gained his trust. Moosey started on his journey looking for a man to sharpen his skills while he sharpened theirs. He requires a life of adventure and battle, but most importantly must seek revenge for his father and create a legacy that will outlive his life. Moosey requires change to this corrupt wasteland. It's good to have you with us, Moosey. Good to have you. And you fought well, buddy. I am I am proud. You fought well. Shay, do not go out here where there's still slavers. Please. I beg of you. And I see we're still fighting out here. I'm guessing these guys are gonna be trying to wake up, but Man! <laughs> there's some 
There's some nasty stuff. Sand Ninja Slave doing his thing. Steve's gonna go and find Shay. We do have tech hunters up front now, so hopefully they will protect us from anything too bad over here. So we should be fine. What I really want is everybody to go heal themselves. And rebel farmers and slave traders are fighting, and we are fighting both of them. Now why are we letting them snipe us? Excuse me. Why are we letting them do this to us? Get these fucking slave traders dealt with. We're taking their ammo right about now. Sure, I'll allow them to be melee. But range? They are too good being ranged. Ertoffel just got himself fucked. And now this guy got himself fucked. Perfect. Take his ammo. We need it. Take his heal kits as well. Hell yeah. Exactly what we need. You guys are stockpiling too many uh, weapons. None of that. None of that. Shoot this guy. I don't care. I don't care who is he carrying. He's not gonna carry anybody out here. I do want us. Did that motherfucker take your weapon? God damn it. Ha! Ah. It's probably out here. Didn't quite didn't quite enslave him yet. But he took his weapon. Ain't that good. Ain't that a good thing? Still have these fuckers out here. Alright, Adonios, find yourself a weapon. Perfect. Go, use that. Take him down. Pass it around. All these guys that they suck. And that we're taking all their shit. Fucking slavers. No healing for you. No nothing. Oh, we also need these, for sure. If you guys wanna. Spare some of that. I'll be happy. Just crawling around there. Take him down, boys. Take him down. Save everybody. Yes, the life at the way station was rough. And if the man's gonna make it, it's gotta be tough. So you knew nobody else is gonna help them. He needed more numbers. He needed more people to help them protect this place. Slavers, rebel farmers, bone dogs, ancient monstrosities, you name it. Everything was passing by this place. And everything wanted to kill them. He knew they had to get stronger. But the question was, how can they get stronger if they're constantly beaten up?